What's up everybody, Derek here with the Nerd Cave, here to give you my reaction to the Logan trailer that dropped this morning. It's actually kind of a funny story, because I didn't know the trailer was going to come out as early as it did. So I'm getting ready to go to work, I'm going to try and get into work a little bit early so I can watch the announcement for the new Nintendo console. So I checked Facebook right before I leave my apartment, and it says, oh, the new Logan trailer's out. So I run to my computer, watch it, and then I watch it again. And then I get to work and I watch it again. I love this trailer. I loved everything about it. It has such a different feel than any other X-Men movie that they've done. It feels much darker, more grittier. It feels like we're finally going to get that edgy Wolverine story that people have been wanting since the beginning. Um, for those who are relatively new to the subject, Logan is the newest X-Men movie. It's a Wolverine spinoff. But the big news is that it's Hugh Jackman's last appearance as Wolverine. It's funny because he announced, you know, several months ago, he's like, oh, I want to do this forever. And then he came right around and say, oh, well, this movie is actually going to be my last one. So I, it looks like they're going all out with it to make, you know, Hugh Jackman's final appearance in this franchise a memorable one. And it's crazy to think about that when this movie comes out, it will be 2017, Hugh Jackman will have been Wolverine for 17 years. That's a heck of a run. I read an interesting stat that since Hugh Jackman's been Wolverine, we've had three different Spider-Men, uh, two Batman, two Superman, four if you count the TV versions. It's crazy. He's had such a great run, and I think not a lot of people really give him credit for that. I know he wasn't very popular choice back in the day because he looks really nothing like Wolverine in the comics. But I think he's done a very admirable job, and he is the most iconic person in that franchise. But getting into the trailer itself, I thought it was put together beautifully. Uh, the song, they used Hurt by Johnny Cash, which was absolutely perfect. Right when I heard that song, I knew this was going to be a different type of trailer. It had a very somber and dark feel to it. And you hear the voice of Charles Xavier, and it sounds really gruff and weak. And he says, Logan, what did you do? And he says, Charles, the world isn't like it was before. The mutants are all gone because mutant births are very rare in this time. This is taking place in the distant future. I believe it's the year 2024. Uh, Wolverine and Charles Xavier are a little bit older. Their powers are failing them. Wolverine is losing his healing ability and has become pretty much an alcoholic to deal with the pain. Xavier has Alzheimer's, which you can only imagine someone with his abilities and as powerful of a mind as he has. That's got to be a, a tough thing to deal with. You see him just laying in a bed and he just looks lost. And from there, we get glimpses of Caliban. We get glimpses of the villains, the Reavers who are in this movie. Um, Wolverine taking out the claws, which was awesome. There's an R-rated version where he actually impales someone under their chin and you see the edges of the claws come out of their skull and I was like holy crap that's awesome but it was a really really good trailer it didn't give away the story too much um, it did reveal uh, the girl Laura Kinney who is codenamed X-23 the clone of Wolverine which those of you who saw X-Men Apocalypse the I believe it was the mid credit scene hinted that he uh, that this X SX Corporation, excuse me, um, got a sample of Wolverine's blood, and from there they create Laura, aka X23. So I'm very curious to see her dynamic. She's a little bit older than what I thought she would be, and it looks like that she will at least be able to defend herself. She has, of course, Wolverine's healing abilities and has uh, two claws instead of three. So this trailer was just absolutely fantastic. I've watched it four times now by the time that you know I'm recording this, uh, the afternoon after it came out. Um, I'm really excited to see more. I really hope this movie's good. From seeing this trailer, it's moved into one of my most anticipated movies of 2017. And it's up there, especially on the superhero list. I would probably put Spider-Man Homecoming number one with this one and Guardians at kind of an equal level. But I'm really excited to see it. I hope it does well in the theaters because this is going to be Hugh Jackman's last time as Wolverine. And as I said earlier, I don't think that too many people really give him the credit that he deserves for the run that he's had playing the same character for almost 20 years. 
Um, I love it. I think this has the potential to be the best X Men movie that they've that they've ever made. And I know that there's a lot wrong with the X Men movies. They have their flaws. The continuity is so out of whack. It's ridiculous. I have no idea where this is taking place. But at the same time, I kind of don't care because to me, I'm going to go into this as it's going to be a badass Wolverine movie, a gritty, dark Wolverine movie that we have waited so long. I remember having conversations with friends in high school saying that if there was ever a Wolverine movie, it needs to be rated R. And we're finally going to get that. I think we're going to get amazing performances from both Hugh Jackman and Patrick Stewart. I think this will easily be their best portrayals of the characters because of this story. And you see glimpses of still that fellowship when they take Laura and you see the three of them sitting at a table and they're all actually smiling. So you're seeing this, you know, dark world that they live in. There's still that little bit of hope and that little bit of hope is going to be X-23. Now, I will say, uh, people have been asking me, do you think that Wolverine is going to die in this movie? I think he will. I think at the end, he's either going to sacrifice himself to save Laura, or he's just going to die of old age at the end of the movie. And the end will be kind of a funeral for Logan, and then we'll see Laura take up the mantle as the new Wolverine. Now, how that's going to fit in with the rest of the movies, I have no clue. But as I said, I'm just excited to see this movie in particular. Um, I'm a huge Hugh Jackman fan, even his musical stuff. I've loved him as Wolverine. I think he's going to knock it out of the park. This is going to be his best performance. And I really hope that this movie does well. Those are my thoughts on the Logan trailer. Uh, Be sure to check out all of our other content here on our YouTube channel. This is Derek on behalf of everyone else in the Nerd Cave. Have a week.